Another important aspect of covering food enrichment will be covering things that go beyond food. There are a lot of festivals, there is a lot of culture enrichment, and I think to, to really connect with the scene, to really connect with food, the food scene enrichment, the blogger will need to get involved. That means going to festivals, um, taking part in cultural activities. Um, there, you know, because this, this is a full year project, there will be a lot of time um, to do some research on things like New Year's, for example. Every culture has their own New Year's, every culture has their own um, date for New Year's. So they, they often fall throughout the year. Um, there's a lot in the spring. But those are really good um, events and festivals to go to. Coincidentally, they'll often include food. <laughs> so, um, and often, for example, if you're um, if you're covering a restaurant that has a very specific type of cuisine, not even a, a specific from a specific country, but um, a specific region in a country, sometimes there's an event that matches that that can really flesh out. Um, a post that again goes beyond the food so you can describe the food and the meal in the restaurant and perhaps another post can describe can go behind that and um, coverage can be you know, from a festival where food is something that's really important where um, it's part of a ritual it's part of um, um, it, it, it's part of celebrating a specific event and I think that can make it make things really interesting for both the blogger as well as for the readers to learn a lot more about what's behind each meal and why things are prepared in the way they are.